Welcome back to the Elias the Dopest, the baddest show on this side of the Sahara, if I do say so myself. In case you're just tuning in, this is the award-winning program that is Grapevine. Now, we are going to be taking you to Nanyuki. I mean, I'm already here. But the story that I'm taking you to is the story that has brought us to Nanyuki, and that is Reggae in the Sun. Now, Reggae in the Sun is a concert that appreciates and showcases homegrown Kenyan music. From the Kenyan reggae musicians that we have, this is the place to be. Now, for the very first time they have taken the event outside Nairobi that is in Nanyuki so how about we see how it went down <laughs> On Saturday, the first reggae in the sun for the year 2022 went down at the Nanyuke Sportsman Arms. Reggae in the Sun is a purely reggae concert set to appreciate and showcase Kenya's homegrown reggae. The festival was started in 2016 and 13 editions down, they stay giving a platform to Kenyan reggae artists. The 14th edition was a bit different as for the first time in six years the concert was held outside Nairobi. The party happened in Laikipia County, Nanyuki. For the first time in Nanyuki, oh, we bring you reggae in the sun. Juliana, Patricia, what, what is the name of your DJ, your pure DJ? The turnout wasn't as huge compared to the previous events, but for a first outside the capital, it was just as commendable. Those in attendance made the most of it as they enjoyed some good reggae music. Homegrown reggae artists got on stage, and it was a no-brainer that Kenya has really talented reggae musicians. MC Filippo took to the stage, and his interaction with the audience, as usual, is always unmatched. Maria Ngoma, together with a nice hit band, gave an outstanding performance for almost two hours, and her energy on her last performance was just as captivating as her first. So as to get to tap reggae talents from all over the country, the organizers promised to take this event all over the counties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going different counties now. And then I think we'll just have a break a little bit because of the, of the, of the election and stuff. But after elections, we'll be back. But before election, we'll say we have two more to do. It is right to say that this edition of Reggae in the Sun was yet again a success. The feeling was good, I enjoyed myself and the people loved it a lot. And I appreciate it so much for Reggae in the Sun, for giving us the platform to showcase our talents, 
There's so many talented artists out there, but uh, this is a nice move. I feel like it's just not meant to be an aerobic thing, because even outside, there are people who like reggae, and you know, their vibes. If, if anything, people like reggae more outside than in Nairobi, so I think it's a great thing. It's just, I would say, uh, we need more exposure. Like for instance, this. I know there are a lot of people who came here today who didn't know me, but they've known me today. And definitely will follow me, you know. So new exposure like, to your platform, and then Pia Kamams and you keep at your platform, use it to your advantage. Go all out.